No matter the season, Gatlinburg offers a wide variety of attractions and activities. A brief walk of the parkway offers more opportunities for family fun than you can complete in a day. Within a short walk, you'll find a world-class aquarium, mini golf and mountain coasters, museums and arcades, and countless other attractions for kids and adults alike, right on the parkway. Or you can fly over the trees and gondolas, chairlifts and aerial tram cars to discover mountaintop adventures. Let's have a look at our top 10 things to do in Gatlinburg. But before we proceed, please do like and post a comment to this video. Number 10. Anakista. Anakista in Gatlinburg TN offers a unique outdoor experience that the entire family will enjoy. The adventure begins with a scenic sky lift ride to the top of Anakista Mountain. Once there you will arrive at Firefly Village where you can visit the shops, grab a bite to eat, walk the memorial trail, explore the treetop canopy walk, play in the treehouse playground, and go zip lining all while enjoying beautiful mountain views. Anakista is a Cherokee Indian word referring to high ground and it is often associated with a massive rock layer known as the Anakista Formation. After purchasing tickets, the adventure begins with a scenic sky lift ride up 600 feet to the top of Anakista Mountain. The ride takes about 10 to 15 minutes and you can choose to ride in an open chairlift or enclosed six-person gondola cabin. The open chairlifts have a safety bar that comes down in front of you and the gondola cabins are great for strollers and they are wheelchair accessible. At the top of the mountain you'll arrive at Firefly Village where you can browse the shops, grab a bite to eat and walk the memorial trail. There is plenty of seating areas and picnic tables available all with beautiful mountain views. Number 9. Roaring Fork Motor Trail An exuberant mountain stream gave this area its unusual name. Roaring Fork is one of the larger and faster-flowing mountain streams in the park. Drive this road after a hard rain and the inspiration behind the name will be apparent. The narrow, winding, Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail invites you to slow down and enjoy the forest and historic buildings of the area. The 5.5-mile-long, one-way, loop road is a favorite side trip for many people who frequently visit the Smokies. It offers rushing mountain streams, glimpses of old-growth forest, and a number of well-preserved log cabins grist mills, and other historic buildings. Please note that the road is closed in winter. Before entering the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail, a stop at the Noah Bud Ogle Self-Guiding Nature Trail offers a walking tour of an authentic mountain farmstead and surrounding hardwood forest. Just beyond the Ogle Farmstead is the trailhead for Rainbow Falls, one of the park's most popular waterfalls. The hike to the falls is 5.4 miles round trip and is considered moderately strenuous. Number 8. Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies One of the most popular attractions for children, Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies offers unique opportunities to get up close and personal with a wide variety of marine life. You can pet a penguin, splash around with a stingray and touch a ray bay or take a behind-the-scenes tour. A people mover takes you through an underwater tunnel, where you can watch green sea turtles, big snappers, tarpons and sharks through the floor-to-ceiling glass wall. According to recent visitors, the tunnel, the sharks and the resident mermaid were a hit with kids. Parking costs $6. To avoid the fee, consider taking the trolley instead. If you purchase tickets at the aquarium, you'll pay $29.99 for adult admission and $15.99 for kids' tickets. Discounts are available if you purchase tickets online in advance. Number 7. Obergatlinburg Amusement Park and Ski Area The Obergatlinburg Amusement Park and Ski Area is open 365 days a year. During the winter months from mid-December to mid-March, skiers and snowboarders hit the slopes and even non-skiers enjoy snow tubing. The amusement park, which offers several rides, including a mountain coaster, an indoor ice skating rink, a kiddie park, shops and restaurants and a small zoo, is open throughout the year. Although the resort itself does not offer accommodations, its location just a few miles from Gatlinburg makes it easy to find lodging. You can drive up to the resort or take the aerial tram from downtown. Winter visitors raved about the ski instructors. Recent travelers also loved the views from the aerial tram and all of the dining and shopping options at the park, as well as the rides like the mountain coaster. In the winter season, slopes are open from noon to 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday and from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. on weekends and holidays.
Number 6. Gatlinburg Space Needle This 407 feet tower overlooks the town of Gatlinburg and offers 360 degree views of the Smoky Mountains. The observation deck is equipped with viewfinders and educational exhibits that detail the history of the town and the surrounding mountains. Arcadia, a 25,000 square foot arcade with video games and a playground is also located here, as are the Iris Theater and Slice Pizza. While most visitors agreed that the view from the observation deck was unbeatable, many thought the attraction was overpriced. However, recent guests appreciated that the admission included a second free visit, allowing visitors to take in the view by day and by night, located across from the convention center and Ripley's Believe It or Not. In downtown Gatlinburg, the Space Needle is open 365 days a year from 9 to 1 a.m. Sunday through Friday and 9 to 2 a.m. on Sunday. Number 5. Gatlinburg Skylift Park Since 1954, the iconic yellow chairs of the Gatlinburg Skylift have taken visitors to the top of Crockett Mountain for scenic views of the Smokies. Today visitors to the summit can experience walking across the Gatlinburg Sky Bridge, the longest pedestrian suspension bridge in North America. Stretching 680 feet across with a height of 140 feet at its midpoint, walking the bridge is an unforgettable moment, an accomplishment to be proud of, best documented with a photo. The new Sky Deck and adjacent Sky Center offer a place for refreshment and relaxation while enjoying the wide-open views of the mountains. The park's latest developments warrant return trips, even among those who have enjoyed the chairlift extensively in the past. From an updated lift to a beautiful observation deck, there's plenty to love about the latest edition of the Sky Lift. Perhaps most impressive, a vast pedestrian bridge that offers some of the most awe-inspiring sights in the Smoky Mountains region. Reaching these attractions still requires participating in the time-honored tradition of riding the chairlift, bringing new and old together in the ultimate blend of Gatlinburg fun. Number 4. Obergatlinburg Aerial Tramway For a bird's eye view of the Gatlinburg area and the Smokies, hop on the Obergatlinburg Aerial Tramway, one of the country's largest tramways. Catch the tram in downtown Gatlinburg for a 2.1-mile ride up the mountain to its peak at 11, 88 feet. At the top, you'll find shopping, dining, an amusement park, an ice skating rink and a small zoo. To continue your vertical ascent, you can take the chair lift from the peak for even more incredible views. Catch the cable car in downtown Gatlinburg at Parkway and LeConte Street. Number 3. Gatlinburg Arts and Crafts Community If you're interested in art and authentic Appalachian crafts, you'll want to spend a day exploring the 8-mile arts and crafts loop in and around Gatlinburg. Watch mountain craftsmen and women make brooms, baskets and pottery or peruse the paintings. Hand-blown glass and photography at the Aramont School of Arts and Crafts, which features five galleries with work from local, national and international artists. Most recent visitors said this was a great way to find special souvenirs unique to the area. Several shoppers recommended picking up the complimentary map in advance to help you decide which of the more than 100 shops and galleries to visit, and some mentioned perks like free parking and out-of-state shipping services offered by many of the stores. Number 2. Mountain Moonshine Tastings Moonshine tastings have become one of the trendiest activities in Gatlinburg for visitors of age. The Appalachian tradition of making moonshine and hidden mountain stills took hold in the early 20th century. Immigrants from Scotland and Ireland, who had settled in the mountains, found that the abundance of corn and clear mountain streams were perfect for making whiskey. Plus, the mountains provided plenty of hiding places for their illegal stills. The area eventually became known as Moonshiner's Paradise. Recent visitors to Sugarland's Distilling Company, named for the area filled with sugar maple trees that was once the heart of moonshine country, didn't mind the 15-minute wait for the free moonshine tasting. Many commented on the great personalities of the hosts and the service. Nearby, the Old Smoky Distillery also received kudos for its tastings and free live bluegrass music. Many visitors called this a must-do and some congregated daily in the rocking chairs in front of the open-air stage to listen to the music. 
Number 1. Great Smoky Mountains National Park One of only a few national parks that do not charge an admission fee, Great Smoky Mountains National Park is also the most visited, welcoming more than 10 million travelers annually. The 522,427-acre park is shared by Tennessee and North Carolina with the border running through the center. In addition to hiking, biking and horseback riding trails, the park offers historical exhibits, including original Appalachian cabins, and scenic drives to popular spots like Cades Cove and the waterfalls on the Roaring Fork Motor Trail. If you love seeing wildlife in its natural habitat, Cades Cove is a great place to spot deer and black bears. Start at the Sugarland Visitor Center to get an overview of the area's history and pick up trail maps, or head to what is known as the locals' entrance at Greenbrier a little more than two miles east of Gatlinburg. Trail leads to Ramsey Cascades, Porter's Creek and Injun Creek start here, and it's often much less crowded than other areas of the park. Recent visitors raved about the Roaring Fork Motor Trail, describing it as a must-see with awesome views. 